All right, you are back with Moti once again. And God has allowed me to share another moment with you. And I want to, speaking of that, I want to talk about having moments with God because it's so intimate. You know, when you have moments with God, you're putting Him first. So my moments with God can be at any given time He chooses. And it's not like, you know, it can be. Early in the morning, it can be when I'm sleeping. It can be when I'm turning over in my sleep. And he'll allow me to have that moment with him. So I don't worry about, oh, first thing I got to do is shave and brush my teeth and everything. No, God wants us to come to him completely as we are. So if I wake up first thing, I'm not going to go shaving and brush my teeth so I can miss that moment with God. Because that moment might be there for that moment right then and there that he wants to share with me. And then when, I, when I'm basically giving God my time to have time with him. And then so what I'll do when my time is done, then I'll go back to doing other things, you know, like go brush my teeth, freshen up, wash my face. But sometimes it could be at any, like I said, it could be at any moment. Just like now I have my moment with him. And he's allowing me to share the video just like I've explained to people before. When I do these videos, it's by the grace of the Heavenly Father, through His wisdom. This is not my own doing. This is by the will of God. And He allows me to speak. So basically what I do is I completely obey Him. So if He wants me to share something with the world, then that's what I basically do. Because that's called being obedient to Him. And God is so powerful. You know, I've had somebody ask me to say, do you, you know, you don't speak too much on worldly things. And the reason why I don't speak on a lot of worldly things that's in the world today, because for one, God is my world. I see all things through him. So if it's something that he wants me to see, that like he showed me at a time when I was blind and I can see anything. I can hear the TV if somebody cut the TV on for me, but I couldn't really see what was going on at the moment. But when I was able to have that vision as he was restoring it, you know, he showed me the things. He let me see the things that he said, look what I kept you from. You know, so I remember my first time when I was watching news, it was the whole tragedy was going on in in Hawaii. And God said, you see what I kept you from. And so basically, you know, the world doesn't realize God sees all. He's watching all. He hears all. And I'm just telling you, like, it's just such a, he's just that powerful. I mean, he's so powerful enough that it changed the way I think it has strengthen my spiritual relationship with him and I can truly not only am I walking with him now now I live with him he lives within me I live within him and it's just truly a blessing because before like I said you know a lot of people want to know you know how do you know if you you know what's the difference between us just being a Christian and doing God's will basically it's simple I didn't have a relationship with the heavenly father now I've come to know him up close and personal. And there is a difference versus somebody running and going to a church building than what's in your heart. You can have somebody go to church every single Sunday, but they don't have God in their heart. So that's that saying, you know, you're going to a church building, but is God in within you? Is he building within your heart? It has to start within your heart because I've learned with my time away is I've had more church in my heart with God that I've had any Sundays in years of me going to church. And that's why I had said at the beginning that when I was beginning all this, that I've, you know, I had, I believe, but I had very little faith. Now my faith, thanks to the heavenly father has brought it to full blown, true faith. So much, my faith is so strong in the heavenly father that my trust in God is strong as well as, my depending on God completely is strong. And people need to realize, too, you can't do two things, say I'm going to trust in God, but then go off on your own way and try to do stuff. God doesn't work that way. When you put your full trust in God, you're being led by God. You're being led by Jesus. You're being led by the Holy Spirit. And one thing, God is so powerful that he can do all things by himself. But then he still blesses us with a kingdom. He blessed us with the Son. He has blessed us with the Holy Spirit. And I'm telling you from experience, 
the Heavenly Father, God has a massive kingdom, a well-disciplined kingdom. You've heard from Mo T, and I just shared a moment with you from what God has allowed me to share with you again. Like I say, remember, when I come to you and I do these videos, this is not for my um, own doing. Nope. It's got to be led by God, and if God allows me to speak when he wants me to speak, I speak. If he wants me to stay silent, be quiet with the poem, he wants me to be silent, I'm quiet. That's how powerful God is, and I'm thankful for him. I truly am. God bless. Amen.